Okie dokes. Okie dokie. This is a different unboxing for me. Where'd I put my knife? Oh no. All right, let me find the razor blade in here. You know what? I got exacto blades down here. We're getting a new, a new cutter today, apparently. All right, well, we're just gonna rock with this. Weird intro done. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? I have a package. I'm also like looking for my blade right now, but I yeah, I don't see it. That's con concerning because where did it go? But I have a different kind of video, and this is somewhat showing a supplier, I guess. Um, but this is actually like part Estesi Fingers unboxing, and also part of Sponsor Me Tape unboxing. So this is a package from my buddy Joe, who owns Sample Fingerboards. I don't re really remember how we got acquainted for the most part. I don't, I actually don't know. Uh, I don't know if he hit me up. He might have just been that he hit me up to get, he probably wanted some, some tape from me uh, to go with his boards. And then I uh, got in touch with him about engraving once I found out about that but uh so as you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here but a lot of it is actually some engraved tape that'll be on the site soon but he also threw in a board which is just a blank super cool nice shape and he threw in a nice bench it's much lighter than I expected but it's like a 3d printed bench I think super nice real light Hopefully it works great, but, um, but yeah. And then uh, I thought I'd show off the new designs that I have for the engraved tape. They're a bit more simple than I uh, have done in the past, uh, which might disappoint some people, but I am looking forward to it. I'll get to the bench and the board in a second, but I thought with uh, showing this off first. So let's, let's break this back open. So I, I got four designs made in total and I did I did them both in the one millimeter and in 0.5 which is something I haven't had done before so this is actually some 0.5 tape engraved so here is the first design I grabbed out it goes down the line saying sponsor me tape grave tape does that I need to clean all these but yeah so it's it's got a engraving that just continually says sponsor me tape down the center which is sick but with this batch i wanted to get uh some more like personal logos made for people to rock that that look again because i haven't done that in a while my first engraved stock did that second one is a vhs tape and these are the 0.5 ones so it comes in i'll have it uh, in 0.5 and in one millimeter to the next one. Let's do a um, one millimeter pack. Let's pop this open. What do we got in here? Oh God. <laughs> All right, this one is just a very simple center sponsor me tape logo. Just says the company name, sponsor me tape. Real nice. I think this is my favorite one, which I might, I might grab one but it's a, just a nice little SMT going all the way down. It's my vinyl design that says SMT. So got a nice little vertical strip going all the way down. Yeah, so those are the four designs I have. I'm really looking forward to, to getting this all packed up and, and out to the people, because I know people have been wanting some, some engraved tape. Probably not the engraved tape they were hoping for, but uh, I, I like how they came out. Thank you again so much, Joe, for, for knocking all that out. He did over 200 sheets, um, so that's super sick. But yeah, so I also got a board. I don't know if this is how he does his packaging or not, but uh, super simple if it is. The, uh, it's like a pinkish, reddish, orange in the com in like the middle area of those colors. Uh, and we got a nice, nice rounding and everything. The only thing that like I kind of feel off the, off the bat is it could use like maybe just one more layer of lacquer. It's a little coarse, 
Uh, that's the only thing I can really recommend from from first sight. This feels like a 34. Yes, it is. I forgot what I asked for. But yeah, I mean, the only thing I can really say is maybe just hit it one more time with some lacquer. Holes look great. So yeah, super cool uh, ply too. I like this uh, natural. I, mean, I don't know if it's maple or not. I don't think it is because I haven't seen maple like this before. It's like more horizontal, even though it's a vertical piece. Uh, but yeah, the plies go whatever this natural, probably maple, but just a new type of maple for me. Uh, a yellow ply, a the same natural ply, yellow, and then this reddish, orangish, pinkish vibe. Yeah, roundings, super nice. Love the the rounded edges. They look real, real good. But yeah, all right, let me set this up. I got, I'm gonna have to unset up my Fort Blog blacklist because I'm running out of trucks. <laughs> but yeah, so let me get this set up and I'll, uh, I'll then sesh the bench with this uh, and, and give some thoughts on the bench. So I'll be back in a second. All right, let's get this bench out. Here is the board all set up. There's some stickers on, some sponsoring tapes. Gotta hit it up. I did go with the the vertical lineup SMT. Uh, it did get a little messy. Recommend if you do get some, use some painter's tape or something, and and uh. Rub some tape in there to get some of that that out. It'll help a bunch. And another reminder, if you want some stickers like these, you can get a sticker sheet uh, with any sponsor tape order as long as it's over $20. It'll come free with that. Probably just add those to the site to sell also. We got a bench. Let's try this bench out. I also haven't really done much with the board. I did one kickflip and that was about it. Let me try to get some of this blackness off my fingers. I'm gonna do kickflip 5-0. Right here, let's try. Feel it. Told you. I could feel it in my bones. Oh, sorry, this is also the 0.5 tape. I will say, if you do pick some up, be careful, it is real thin. Also, I will be honest, my placement in the design was slightly off. Uh, should have put it a little bit more to the right. Um, Cause it's, it's not the most lined up. Uh, I wanted it a little more away from the holes. That's that. That grind felt real nice. Let's do a uh, blunt slide. Noise, noise. Oh, that was a little sketch, but I mean, that was pretty good for first try. Um, kick for the nose grind. Solid. This is a great shape, by the way. It feels super nice. Just a, a classic shape that uh, a lot of people will will love this shape. It does actually remind me a bit of a, a blacklist uh, to an extent. Uh, with to a blacklist bold shape. Uh, but with some slight just like the tiniest bit more concave. I would say like if if blacklist has like a 1.5, this has a 1.6 millimeter. Uh, let's try a Nolly shove it nose grind. Maybe. Oh, tail slide. Alright, no slide. <laughs> Kickflip blunt. Backside, front side. Backside blunt. Ooh, clean. Kickflip nose blunt. Super smooth. This bench is a bit too wide to really do a board slide with its wheelbase. Even, you know, a bit like the standard wheelbase, it'll, it'll be too wide. But that doesn't upset me because I don't really do a lot of board slides anyway. So if you do want a bench that you can board slide like full, full width. <laughs> this is not the bench. It's 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 nice. Um, I can feel that it is 3D printed. Um, I do wish uh, it had a, a bit smoother of a finish. Like it's it's got a 
It's got a texture to it. Um, but I mean, you can't complain. I think he's only selling them for like 25, which is less than a board. So I think that was the price he told me. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Jesus. Uh, so thank you so much. He, he threw the board in for free, which was really sick of Joe to do that. And he actually gave me a discount on the bench and I only paid 15 for it. Um, so I really appreciate him and all of the work he did uh, for sponsoring me tape. All the tape looks super sick. I'm really excited to, uh, to, to get some photos out to people and let them know uh, about it. Uh, and that, that 0.5 SMT tape with engraved designs is possible. Super pumped. Hope y'all are too. Give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate everyone. Uh, the, the channel's been blowing up recently. And I mean, like for me, blowing up. I'm almost at 2K subscribers, which is insane. <laughs>not that far away from uh getting verified so uh i'm gonna watch some extra extra videos if i do i can get monetized videos and then i can just take the money i get from this and put it into the products into the scene again and and make content for fingerboarding so if you want that to happen and you want more videos uh share the video send it to some friends you know but yeah don't forget to go follow cartwheels that's games in the wheels. Blacklist fingerboards. Sponsor me tape. Sample fingerboards. I do want to mention um, if if there is an engraved design that that I don't make or no one else makes that you want to get made, um, but you do really enjoy the feel of sponsor me tape. Uh, Joe has his own stock of it on his site of of not engraved designs. So if you want a custom engravement, uh, hit him up at sample underscore fingerboards. And uh, he'll get you taken care of and get you some, some sheets, sponsor me tape with whatever you want engraved on it. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. I missed. Let's do it with the, the grip. Here's the board all set up. I did go with an airplane flying.